Hey everybody, it's Dave Anderson. Uh, I'm here at CES 2016 at the NVIDIA booth where this year's focus is all about self-driving cars. One of the first demos that I'd like to show you is actually an in-vehicle demo. What we've done here is we've taken a Mercedes GLE and we've modified this vehicle to have a Drive PX on board and to the Drive PX we've connected two new sensors. We've actually integrated these sensors behind the bumper of the vehicle. One is a spinning LiDAR and the second is a camera that's mounted here in the center. Both are self-contained and concealed behind the bumper of the vehicle. And the purpose of having two sensors is to show you uh, an idea that we call sensor fusion. So that's basically fusing the data from both of these sensors. The purpose of these sensors is to actually give you a view of the front of the vehicle where we are detecting pedestrians walking back and forth in front of the car. One of the benefits to having Drive PX on board and using two different sensor types is that we can work through bad weather like, for example, rain. So let's make it rain. So now, with the rain going, you'll notice that the pedestrian detection algorithm is still actually running flawlessly behind. Now, let's go on to some of the fundamental technology that's running inside that Drive PX system. One of our other major announcements was NVIDIA Drive Net a neural network that we've developed using our NVIDIA Digits dev box that can be trained with a wide variety of different data sets, allowing us to detect things like cars, people, or other objects that might be in the path of the vehicle. In this next demonstration, we outfitted the vehicle with six cameras and four LiDAR sensors. We then drove this vehicle in the real world. We added to it a deep neural network that allowed us to do object detection, detecting cars and trucks in the field of view of the vehicle. We then overlaid all of that information on a detailed map and we created a location for the vehicle inside the world. That then gives us a total situational awareness around the vehicle. But obviously this is too complex to show a driver. In the Driver Information Center, we're receiving all the detailed information from NVIDIA Drive PX. That information is quite complex, so what we've done is we've distilled it down into something that is visually intuitive for the driver to feel confident about the path and the trajectory that the vehicle is going to take. It's going to be an exciting future for NVIDIA self-driving cars.